Keyword research is the basis of any SEO strategy. If you want to rank high and get traffic, you got to start with keyword research. Hello there, this is Sarah from Searchcraft and in this video, I'll go over what is keyword research, what are the benefits of keyword research, and how to do keyword research effectively in 5 steps. By the end of this video, you'll be able to start doing keyword research to land on the best keywords possible for your website. Buckle up, get your notes out, and sit tight. It's gonna be a good one. Let's get started. So what is keyword research? Keyword research is the process of finding valuable keywords for your business or website by analyzing keyword data. There are four benefits of doing keyword research. First, it helps you rank better and get more traffic. With the keyword data at your disposal, you'll be able to target valuable keywords that gives you the best chance to rank for and get higher traffic. Second, it helps you with your target keyword selection, especially when you're undecided between different variations. Instead of relying on assumptions and guessing games of what you think people are searching for, you can rely on actual data to make comparisons and prioritize keywords based on your potential value. Third, you can align your content with your target audience by understanding and satisfying user intent. And fourth, it accelerates your content velocity. Through keyword research, you get a multitude of content ideas and topic clusters from related keywords which helps you cover more topics around high-value keywords. Now that we've got the basics out of the way, let's dive into how to do keyword research in 5 steps. First is defining your goal and target audience. Second is brainstorming C keywords through competitor analysis and Google Search Console. Third is refining your keyword list for search intent, opportunity score, and business potential. Fourth is building topic clusters for topical authority. And fifth is doing keyword mapping. So let's go over each of these five steps. The first step to keyword research is defining your goal and target audience. What are you doing keyword research for and who are you targeting? For demo purposes, let's pretend like I own a skincare line. The goal I'm doing keyword research is to find valuable keyword and content ideas to build my blog, rank for content, and drive organic traffic to generate leads and increase conversions. And so the target audience for my blog is people looking for information about skincare. The second step is brainstorming for seed keywords. Seed keywords are keywords we're going to do keyword research for, so coming up with a few can expand our keyword list exponentially. I've got a notepad pulled up here where I can list my seed keyword ideas. So first, I'll start broad with a seed keyword that represents my topic or business. Naturally, the first one is skincare. Next is adding more keyword ideas. Sure, you could go by intuition by adding some modifiers into your main keyword, but what's even better is relying on data. So first, go ahead and research the first seed keyword. Then look at the SERP analyzer and choose a few relevant competitors. Copy their URLs as you'll need it soon. Then go to rankinggap.com and plug in your and your competitors' URLs and look at the missing keywords, which are keywords your competitors are ranking for but you're not. Add those keywords to your seed keyword list. Another thing you could do is go to Google Search Console. Under Performance, go to Search Results. Then under Queries, you'll see the list of keywords you're ranking for and that are bringing in traffic. Again, add those keywords into your list here. Once you've got the handy dandy C keyword list like I do, you can rinse and repeat steps 3 to 5 for each C keyword you have. For the sake of this video length, I'll be demonstrating the next steps for only one C keyword. The third step is refining the related keywords list here using the sort and filter functions to tailor the results to your goals and needs. This step will be different for everyone as it depends on your objective and niche. In my case, I'm trying to build a blog with educational content for my website, so I want to focus on only informational keywords. It wouldn't make sense for me to use transactional or local keywords for my blog posts because one, I most probably will not rank for those keywords, and second, I won't satisfy search intent. On the other hand, if I'm trying to build product pages, I'll opt for transactional keywords instead. So I'll click here and filter for only informational keywords. Awesome, now I get keywords that are relevant to me. Then, so that I don't have to do mental gymnastics to balance search volume and keyword difficulty, I'll just sort by the opportunity score. Great, the list is now sorted from highest potential to lowest, so while choosing my keywords, I know which one to prioritize. I'll select a few keywords that are suitable for my blog and save them in a new project. 
I also really like long tail keywords because they have lower competition and higher conversion rates. So I'll check this box here and add more long tail keywords to my project. Personally, I like to have a mixture of both broader and long tail keywords for maximum traffic reach. Next, a good way to go through the keyword list is also by evaluating the business potential of a keyword. So while selecting your keywords, ask yourself these two questions. First, will content around this keyword allow me to insert my product or service in it naturally? And second, will people searching for this query be interested in buying my products or services? If the answer to either of these questions is a big yes, then prioritize those keywords. If not, you could still include them, but consider putting them further down your priority list. For example, let's look at this keyword here, skincare routine for men. It has an excellent opportunity score, high search volume, and not too bad keyword difficulty. But the big question is, am I able to plug in links to my products in the content for this keyword? Since skincare products are gender neutral, I can plug and insert any of my products into this page. So the answer is a yes, and this keyword goes into my high priority list as it serves value for my business. The fourth step is building topic clusters by adding more keywords with certain pillar topics in mind. First, use the topic clusters feature here. You can use the big topics for your pillar topic ideas, then expand the relevant topic clusters and add those keywords into your project. Next, if you see a certain keyword that you feel could be expanded more and deserves its own topic pillar, hover over it and click on the search icon. What it does is launch a separate keyword research for this as the seed, which opens hundreds of more keyword ideas you can choose from to expand your topic clusters. Do this for 10 or 20 more keywords and the list exponentially grows. This way, you can go broad by building up more pillar topics while also go deep by expanding your cluster topics. With these two covered, you can start establishing your website as a topical authority. The final step to keyword research is going to the planner and putting it all together through keyword mapping, which looks like this. This way, your keywords are organized and interconnected in a structured way that both Google and users will like. To learn how to do keyword mapping, check out the How to do keyword mapping tutorial video. As a quick summary, here are the 7 tips on how to do keyword research effectively. First, target keywords competitors are ranking for through competitor analysis. Second, go for keywords with user intent that aligns with your target audience. Third, sort by opportunity score to prioritize high potential keywords. Fourth, take advantage of long tail keywords as they're easier to rank for and convert better. Fifth, Evaluate the business potential of a keyword, whether it can contribute towards your product or service. Six, expand your pillar topics and cluster content for topical authority. And seven, do keyword mapping for organized and interconnected content. And that's a wrap. By following the steps I've outlined, you'll be more than ready to do keyword research and choose the best keywords for your site. For more tutorials and tips, make sure to watch our other videos. Also, stay tuned for my next video where I do a full walkthrough of SearchGraph's keyword research tool. Thanks for watching!